Those are the breaks. So, I think the last thing we need to do for this, um, for this sort of um, weirdness is we're going to go Avenger 1 and we are going to take on the alien base. Which is only alien base 2 in the LP apparently. Which sounds wrong to me, but apparently we only had two bases in the replay, which I'll have to go back and check. Yeah, I guess Bard is alive. He's a psionic drone, and now they're weapon of mass destruction, I'm sure. But, you know. Um, I'm not going to give them blaster bombs, because I remember what happened last time I gave them blaster bombs. Things died. The wrong things. I'm going to take blaster bombs out of the equation again, so I will not use them, except for their one, one tank, which does have them. But, yeah. Okay. So, alien base mission. Let's um, save the game here. Reverse. Yeah, we got a load of MIA warnings. I'm not bothered about that too much. Let's come, Util. Game one, swap. Right. So, we are snake men and chrysalids. So, basically, snake men. Um, also, I might be going up against item limits, but we'll work that out in a moment. Uh, that's for cure. Okay. So, this is how the base is kind of configured. I'm not going to defend this point, though. I'm going to attack. Because defending is for suckers. And dear God, do snake men not have a lot of time units. 44 time units. They're going to take ages moving anyway. I should really check where the humans are actually going to come from, shouldn't I? Okay, so the humans are going to come from there. Alright, Alex, I'll be uploading this to YouTube at some stage, so don't worry too much. Ah! Scout Lid has found humans! That's about all he can do, though, because I'm not going to give him a weapon. Not yet, anyway. Come on. It's going to take you forever to get de beyond this point, so... Ah, uh, you see snakes and you see men in the same place doing their thing. You also see pure evil and the most terrifying thing in existence in video games. The, the scout lid. Trust me, they're terrifying. Even if you don't believe me, they're terrifying. But they are, seriously. Men doing squats? Not yet. Not yet. We'll do squats later. Right, leader goes down. I'm not going to be firing blast storms as I've already mentioned. But we are on the attack. Though really, it's going to take them so long, I might as well be on the defense. There we go. I could just blow up the command room and then we'd effectively win anyway. Or Exxon would win. But um, we're not going to do that. There we go, and... Chris's with guns are terrifying. In fact, they are ridiculous. Which is why I'm not going to use that until the last resort. They're going to be scout lids. For the moment. Um, yeah, we'll then return and see what the humans do. Fire a blaster bomb, kill all half the dudes. Nope, laser at the chrysalid. What I would need in order to actually make the chrysalid thing work in multiplayer, or even this, is that I'd have to brain control, pallet swap, and do a lot of um, hex editing. Yeah. <sighs> Chrysalids with guns is ridiculously good. And uh, we're going to have to ban that when it comes to um, doing the XCOM multiplayer thing. Okay, well, actually, the, um... Oh, I've got some dudes up here as well. Okay. 
The good news is, because they have short time units, they have um, quite a lot of... Their firing doesn't take as many time units. And we're, they're one tank down already. Alright, scout the lid. What have we got? Scrub bots? No, that's not a scrub bot, it's a flying doodad thing. Dear God, I wasted all my time units for that move. Hooray for optimization. Okay, um... Let's get all my guys back there. I really need to move them towards there, don't I? Well, actually, you've got a stun weapon. Stun weapon could be amazing here. Alright, scout lid. Your mission? Scout! Okay. Yeah, but at least they can't assimilate people in this in this form. Then they would be absolutely ridiculous. Ah, it, it doesn't scrub things, it just floats along the ground. It does look like a um, small little poover bot thing, but, you know. It might do that as well. Okay, uh, who else haven't we moved? We haven't moved any of these dudes. Right, open the door and move. Kill the humans, kill the humans. It'd be easier actually blast their way out, wouldn't it? I was the one guess, and I, I, I think that, and then I actually get the guy who doesn't have the ability to blast his way out. Oh well, next time. Right, meanwhile, this area is going to be really difficult to defend. Nope, it's going to have to be a snapshot. We got his attention, but we didn't actually kill him. Um. Soldier around there. And we spotted a Humi. Watch around the time units. The Humis are on the move. They didn't do this on the last time I did a base mission with them. But if they're actually willing to move and advance, then this could be interesting and losable. Which is what we want. We want this to be losable. We don't want to lose, of course, but we want it to be losable. <laughs> Within the rules I have set. Okay. Enter. The good news is the chrysalids are going to be shot at. Who <laughs> is far? Yeah, I am an orc player in 40k. I've mentioned this a few times, but I play orcs. I do war with the best of them. And it's similar way to me shouting blood, actually. Also, I am losing badly at this point. I might have to start blaster bombing. But it does feel as if it would be cheating. We'll see how the stun bomb action works, which is what I'm trying to get to in a moment. Right, so you're wounded. Green is best. But of course blue's for lucky colour. Oh, double kill, snake man soldier. You've earned yourself two promotions. And if we can get the third one from you as well, then I promote Snake Man Soldier to Master Snake Man thing. Okay, well that's free. Can you get a fourth? You killed the legendary Snake Man! He was the best of his kind. He just killed four dudes. In flight armor, no less. We will miss you, sir. I don't know whether it's appropriate to salute or not, but... Dude, you were the best. And you will be missed. <laughs> Snake! Alright, well let's see if you can emulate what he's done. Of course you can't, because you can't even see the... Actually, it was a laser shot by somebody. Oh, there we go. Uh -huh. 
hadn't quite meant to use a walk that far, but still. Yes, beetle blocking shield, actually. Chrysalid, shield. This is where I shoot the chrysalid in the back and kill it. Okay. Run back. Beetle blocker. Alright, so we've now got some problems here from what I recall, because they are advancing this way in rather severe numbers, and they've moved again. Now they snuck out over here, possibly. Do you have a duck animation, actually? No, you don't. Now, what it needs is the bagpipes, and that, um, that I can do the proper Star Trek thing. That is how a snake man became a legend. Okay. And this is how a snake man can get himself killed. So I do not trust these things. I never have, really. Launch missile! No, he killed himself with that shot. The good news is, I can now see the humans. And now we just realise how good that guy was. Lucky two, actually. Um, okay. I would rather not use a blaster bomb here if I can avoid it, but I think I don't have anybody else who's got a shot. Run away! The whole point of that was opening up a gap so that I could actually get to them, and now I'm running away from the gap. Because they can get to me. Right, let's move some more snake men down. Oh, actually, you got the stun weapon. That might be really useful in a little bit, but... But for now, let's see if we've got anybody left who hasn't been deployed, who has a reasonable weapon. We have a chrysalid here, but I can't really... I mean, scouting missions, of course, but... Other than that, he doesn't really have a lot of purpose. Okay, so they've, they're grouping up back there. I need to move you into a blocking position. Hello, Marijan! It's been a long week, you need to... <laughs> well, I just impromptu did it, and I did sort of put an announcement up. Possibly, maybe, who knows. Stream is complete. It probably is, actually. This is the last sort of mission I was doing there. <laughs> but um, you've you've missed the legendary defense of Ex of the Temple of Pau, Mark II, which was barely epic, actually, and led to Gaspard being the only survivor. And now you're watching Snake Men, who are... We, we've lost our legendary hero of the Snake Men up here. He was, he was amazing. Bunch of other things! <laughs> um... But um, yeah, and now we're we're messing around, and we're actually at real risk of losing. Okay, so anyway, um, have I got any snake men left who've still got some move? Actually, you. It'd be really useful for you to get up there and help out. Any more chrysalid snake man command? You should re I've got extra snake men here. <laughs> <laughs> Master Snake, man of legend, first class. I would prefer you not to fill my closet full of ducks. This is just me speaking from preference here. I would rather you not do that. Especially as I will know it was you. You're coming out of my closet? But this is the closet. Hi, Anion. Ducks, he says. And why not? Okay. So this is a still losable defense of this base, but we'll see. We always have blast bombs when it comes to it, but I'd rather not. Come on, Chrysalid defense. 
Actually, I'm never in this closet anymore. That's the problem. I am at the weekends, but I'm never in it. Okay, around the corner. <laughs> well, no, not not necessarily full of them, but there are that they're around. I'm sure. No line of fire. No line of fire. Okay, watch him get killed here. Take the shots, please. I need to kill them. Need to kill them still. Oh, and we got one at the back as well. Excellent. Run away! Oh no, a toilet duck. We don't need toilet ducks, uh... Okay. What can I do for stunnage then? It's still the best option I got, because I can deal with quite a lot of them if the stun weaponry works. Actually, no, it's not a Britishism for, for, um... It's a cleaning thing. Oh, dear God, there's loads of them there. More gunnage. Uh, and yet more gunnage. Well, they are dying, which is good. That's what we want them to do. Are they dying fast enough, though? Are they sneaking away? <laughs> um, kind of. It's the XCOM Utils thing, which I've which I've used continually. Um, it works in very very odd and confusing ways. I do have a video somewhere, which um, I'm sure somebody can link me to, which has how I do this, and I think it has the links to the to the things there. Let's have this crystal just go up and see what is still left up here. One dude who has panicked. Okay, so I do need to go up and kill him, but if he's... Actually, let's make sure of it, since I've got all the time units in the world. So there's only one left on this side of the battlefield. Because, you know, we've managed to have the legendary Snake Man Soldier of Legend. Okay. So you can go up there and kill him at some stage, and that means I've just got to send off the rest of the troops down to the other point, and we are potentially done. Don't know how many's left. I think there's still a tank or two left, though. Grenade! First class. I forgot the first class bit. Die is panicked. Thing one has gone berserk. I don't know where Gaspard is. Gaspard's probably still alive somewhere. I don't know, actually. I'll have to check that. I'll swap right, I'll swap back over in a moment. Uh, actually, I don't mind swapping over now just to check that out. I know more or less where all of them are, so it's not really cheating in this in this aspect of it. Option A. So let's just see who survived. Or who has survived thus far. Next up, you two. I'm going to regret ever playing Dinksmore with one of these days. Probably not anytime soon. So they still have a launcher tank. They still have Spelunky Man, Jinkai, Dai. Lord British is still somehow alive. Lee Zank, Thing 1. No, Gaspard is dead. I don't know when Gaspard died, but died he did. I will go and pick up weapons for each of these guys while I'm here. Lord British, Jinkai, Spelunky Man... Yeah, launch a tank, which um, is a little worrying, because I knew that was still alive somewhere. There's a laser tank somewhere, and we also have a Thing 1 who I will just go and make him pick up his weapon, because, you know, it's more fair if they do have their weapons. I think the AI should... It's definitely fired blaster bombs. Um, I've not seen it do it, but I'm... There's no reason why it shouldn't do. If you think about how often the AI actually uses the blast bombs it has in the normal space of the game, it probably makes sense that it's reluctant to do so. But 
I don't see why it wouldn't fire them. It's certainly something that might be the case. It might just might not fire them. But it's still something I've got to worry about. Hi, boy. The death of Gaspard, it was unnoticed. It was probably killed by legendary super snake first class major admiral Arnold Rimmer. I don't know why that's his name, but you know. Um... Oh, it's going back. Yeah, guess what has to die at some stage. The only one he successfully didn't die in was the was the original. But everyone I've tried to live up to the Gaspard name has failed miserably. Ah well. Okay. So it's my turn again. We have Snake Man. He's going to go up and get shot by reaction fire because I've actually given him his weapon back, and it automatically resets the time units. Okay. Well, that very nearly went wrong. It might still go wrong, actually. Nope, so we cleared out this area. Next up, let's find Snake Man Soldier. And he sees two. How many times does it take for you to fire? 17. And you got reasonably good accuracy, actually. Snapshot, can you get to there? Yes, he can. Snapshot. Line of fire. Come on. Fire the missiles. Okay, that worked. Kind of. Right, back you go. Have to reload them in a moment. In the meantime, though, we still have various things we need to kill, like this guy who's got no line of fire. Advance. Darn it, that didn't work. Um, snapshot. Should still have one. Ah! <laughs> I love that song. It is amazing. Ball in his head doesn't glimmer. He's also a fantastic swimmer. Right. I mean, I am kind of advancing because I kind of know there aren't that many of them left, but this is where fusion, it uses the fusion ball. We have our answer. He will use. Chris dies from fatal wound. He does have a degree in swimming, although he's never learned how to swim. They established this. He does not know how to swim. I'd say I love the Red Dwarf novels, actually. I, I found them again recently. They are amazing. Strangely, they're better than the series. They cover a lot of the same areas in some... Oh, dear God. All right. No rhymes left. Apart from Quinn. Play out, you stupid blimmer. All right, and also, we need to kill this thing, because now they will use fusion balls. We know this for a fact now. Okay, not dying. And uh, not enough time units. Run away! Alright, we have the soldier. Actually, no, we won't then. It's not a line, but I didn't think I don't think they use shimmer. Um they did. They they plot for the plot for the for the movie was actually the last episode of season 11. Um, well, the plot they were going to use for the movie they advertised in 2003. The plot for that was recycled into the final episode of Red Dwarf 11. Um, and then, of course, you can say the Back to Earth was kind of the movie, but yeah. Se season 9, yeah. Kind of. Reload. 
My team doesn't get vaporized by mind control. I don't have mind control unless I give the alien psyaps. It's the only way it can happen. Right. <laughs> daily facts from Marijin. <laughs> and the fun daily fact is... 75 pounds of gun! Okay. Need to kill these guys now. Wasn't the one I aimed at, which is always good. I think they're down to blast the tank only. A quid is a pound, sir. Boom, and I think that might be game. That might be game. We'll see. No, there's one left. And I bet he's up there. Yeah, there he is. Oh, it's the plasma tank. Yeah, quid's more slang term for it rather than it. Yeah. Imagine I'll explain. Yeah, we're not going up there. Okay. Do I have any more chrysalids left? Other than that one, which is miles away. Nope, I only have one scalpel lid left. Okay, scalpel lid. Much. Meantime. Non currency, I think. I can wait for that plasma tank to come down. And it did. And now I get to try and kill it. With a stun weapon. Oh, well, that was Canadian dollars. Somebody's got to have a gun left, because I'm using a blaster bomb this thing to death. They don't, they don't have any more, so, you know, it feels slightly unfair to do that. There we go. Get down there and start killing them all! That would have been super effective had it been a human. Okay. Yeah, I quite like the new the American twenties. I mean, I was given a load of those, and they looked more official than the hundred I had. No, oh, come on, round the corner, kill! I don't want to have to do this with chrysalids. Okay. Well, I think that's all of them dead, so let's go and have a little bit of a m fun with the last chrysalid. We've decided that that's the best path. Of so I'm not going to have enough time to pull this off now, am I? Darn it, I'm not going to have enough time use for this. Darn it, I can't fire my 0% accuracy shot for revenge. Alien base destroyed because we won the mission and because the game isn't quite aware of what's happened. But look at those scores, we did amazingly well. 
We did lose 13 aliens, though. Ah. Well, guys, I'm probably going to call that a stream, and that's probably it for Reverse XCOM for the moment, if only because I'm more or less done with all the missions I could possibly do from, um... From here, I suppose. I do have my Sidonia set up for um, Shadowhawk vs. Slime Boy when we do um, the Sidonia mission. Except Slime Boy will be controlling the aliens, I'll be controlling the humans, and everything will fail. Um, 